All right, come with me as I take three words and turn it into a beautiful animated image I can use as content anywhere I want. Using Leonardo AI's new feature, the real-time gin and Runway's motion brush. So first things first, let's head over into Leonardo AI. Come over to the left-hand side here and you'll see the new option for early access on real-time gin. Just go ahead and click that. The three words we're going to use today are ice, queen, fairy. Okay. So there we've got the seed image that it wants us to decide if we want to use on those three words. As you see, every letter you type, every time you hit the space bar, you will get a new image. You backspace. Not exactly the same image. So keep that in mind as you type. You want to slowly take a look at these different images to determine which one you like the best. So I think I like this one. I'd like to see it upscaled. So I'm going to come over here to the right and hit Creative Upscale. Does cost eight tokens. And you can see that there are two options, the normal upscale mode and then creative upscale mode. I prefer to use the creative upscale mode. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that here. And then you can see you don't actually see the image here. You have to go back to your personal feed to see the image right now. I did forget to mention down at the bottom here, you can change it just like all of the other um, image generation you can do in Leonardo with the fine tuned models that they already have created. If you want to know more information about those models, be sure you check out the video that I will link right up here at the top. Okay, so now we just hit this little exit back arrow to exit the real time gen and we come over into our personal feed here. So the third one down and you can see here, this is the ice queen that we just generated with those three words there. So let's take a look at this image. Pretty good. It looks pretty clear. I think that's usable. If we wanted to upscale it, just so that you know, we could come in here to the Alchemy Refiner and do the upscale. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you different examples on upscaling one image using all of the different um, options you have available for upscaling in this system. So if you want to see that, Go ahead and skip to that or stay till the end and be sure you check that out. So now that we have that image that we like, I'm just going to download it with this arrow right here where it says download image. All right. And let's hop over into runway now and take a look at putting some motion on that image. So we're going to do start with an image here and I'm going to take that image from Leonardo that I just created and drag it right on over into here. Okay, so now I've got that image uploaded. I'm going to come down to motion brush. I'm going to just tap anywhere to begin and I'm going to make my marker here a little bit smaller. Oh, no, that's too small. Okay, so that's good. And then I'm going to come in and I'm just going to highlight some of her wing movement here. Anything that I'm marking with this purple line is where I want to put the motion on something. So we'll go ahead and add a little bit here. And same thing on the other side. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so right there you can see I kind of hit her shoulder a little bit. I do not want movement on her at all. So I'm going to come back to this eraser up here and hit that. And just make sure I erase that so that I'm not getting that picked up in where I want the movement. And then we'll just put a little bit down here. Okay. Oh, and over on this side. Okay. So now that we've got some movement on there in different spots that we want to add, I'm going to come down here to the bottom. And for horizontal, I'm going to do just a very low number. 0.7 will work. Vertical 0.5 will work. Ambient noise. I'm going to take that up to about a four on this. And just as an extra bonus, along with how I upscaled those images in Leonardo to show you the comparison, I also did a test run with the ambient noise here since this is a new feature. And I will include that at the end of this video as well so that you can see the different, I did four different settings on the ambient noise so you can see how it affects the image that you're putting the motion on in runway. So be sure you check that out. And then I'm just going to hit save here and I'm going to hit generate. Okay, so we got that generated now. So let's take a look at it here. All right, pretty good. No real warping on her arms. Didn't separate her hair, didn't warp her eyes. That looks pretty good. So there you have it. We just took three words and turned it into this beautiful image in under five minutes. 
just going to download it with this arrow right here where it says download image. All right. There are some great upscalers available on the market right now. I prefer to do my upscaling inside of the Leonardo system. I think the Alchemy Refiner is a great tool for cleaning up my images. So let's go ahead and take a look at the various ways you can use the Alchemy Refiner to improve your images. So first off here, I took the same image from the real gen. So you can see here the original image and I went ahead and upscaled it using each and every alchemy setting that was available. So the first one here is the low normal. There are three levels to the alchemy refiner. You've got low, medium, and high. And then you have a secondary option to turn on the smooth toggle for each one of those three. So all in all, there are six different options for upscaling your original image using the Alchemy Refiner. So number one here, the low, it is actually ideal for images that are already pretty much the way that you want them. It won't do a lot of changes to the image. The adjustments are very subtle and they improve the image without really drastically altering it. So if we take a look here, you can see it definitely gave like a more realistic look to the tool in her dress and her wings are a little bit more clearly defined. Obviously the face and hands are very cleared up and this is just in the normal mode, not the smooth. So if we move on to the smooth low refiner, you can see how much better that image looks. So it kept it very similar to the original image but really cleaned up her face, gave her better cheekbones here. Wings are beautiful. I mean, all in all, to go from that to that for an eight token upscale, I think is amazing, honestly. So next we've got the medium here and the medium is sort of like that middle ground where it's going to change a little bit of the image in the refinement, but it's still going to be very close to the original characteristics. So. You can see here that like the crown of flowers on her head has changed a little bit from the previous image. You can see that the dress stitching is a little bit different and the wings have a little bit more of an iridescent shine to them. You can see the fine details of the hair on her arms making it look much more realistic. And then if we go over to the medium smooth, you can see where it really has changed sort of the texture of her skin. And if you'll notice, it also took her leg here and sort of extended it out so that she's almost in a different pose than the original image here where she was straight. The medium level is the first place that I noticed the change in the leg in this photo. Um, but you'll notice that it also kind of gave her like a double mirror on her hand here. So you always want to carefully look at your images before actually putting them out. There are ways to fix those things as you go in different systems. I can definitely cover that if that's something you guys are interested in. Just let me know in the comments if photo editing is something that you're having a problem with upscaling after you're producing these original images. And we'll definitely tackle that in a video coming soon. Okay, so then we have high here. And the high refiner is really going to make considerable adjustments to the original image. It's mostly used when you want some significant change to the original photo you've put in and you don't really care about keeping it close to that original image as much as you do actually clearing up the photo itself or the image itself. You want to use this one when your base image really requires substantial improvement. So when it needs a lot of work. So you can see our original image here is pretty lacking. It definitely needs a lot of work. So using this high definitely changed the way it looks. You can see that it put her hands into a much better state. They look much more lifelike. Even the way that her hair is reflecting from the sunlight looks more realistic on this high one. I will say under the high normal though, because obviously the smooth is not turned on here and the smooth really pays attention to the face, the eyes, the hands of actual human characters that you have in your image. Whereas the high normal is sort of more of the details around the image itself and not necessarily the human characteristics. So if we go on to the high smooth here, you can see where it really cleaned up her hands, really cleaned up her eyes. 
Her eyes still aren't super smooth in this one. Um, so that might be something where I would take this into the canvas editor and I would put a mask over her eyes and replace what it currently has with an upscaled version of just the eyes because I do like this image. I do like her stance. I like the color. I like the way that the light is reflecting off of her. I think this is a really beautiful image of this fairy, but her eyes need some work. So that's what I'm going to do next with this photo before I'm actually able to use it for myself. But um, that is a breakdown of the different versions here of the Alchemy Refiner. So you can see from our original image here to the low normal, to the low smooth, to the medium normal, to the medium smooth, the high normal, to the high smooth. Let me know in the comments which one you like the best. And let's head on over to Runway and take a look at how the ambient noise feature is affecting the pictures that we're putting animation on. Okay, so first things first about the ambient noise. What even is the ambient noise control? So it just showed up one day as an option on the motion brush settings. And so I went ahead and played with it a few times and got some additional information on it that I wanted to share with you. So when you're using the motion brush feature and you're putting the different type of motion on. So when I highlighted these wings and I put on the horizontal and vertical motion, I have an option to do the ambient noise now, which means that it is the single value motion setting. So that's used to control the overall motion in the Gen 2 creations. It affects the camera motion, the object motion, or the combination of both. Because of the ability to change this setting now, it's important to remember that lower values result in less motion and higher values result in increasing the amount of motion you've put on an image. So I'm going to go ahead here and just break down four different settings to kind of step you through the 0 to 10 scale so that you can get an idea of how to use this ambient noise feature. Okay, so here we've got the first test run with the settings all set the same on every image, but the ambient noise. So you can see horizontal 0.4, vertical 0.5, proximity 0.2, ambient noise on this first one, we're going with 0.5. Here's our result from that one. You can see there's quite a bit of warping. It's not a very good render. The finished product is very blurry. Her face is warped. I'm not a huge fan of that one. So let's see what the next one looks like. The second one here we have set at the exact same settings you can see, but we changed the ambient noise to four and the result is better, but you can still see a lot of warping in her face, a loss of quality on the wings a blur in her hand here and the light is very aggressive in that one. Third one here, we set the ambient noise at seven, everything else the exact same still, same area for the motion, none of that was ever changed, only the ambient noise. So if we take a look at this one, you can see it added in a deep hue of pink here, but it did keep her face much clearer, it looks a lot better up there. Her hands look better, they didn't blur out like it did previously. And then the last one is ambient noise 10. So here we go, you can see we've got the ambient noise set on 10, everything else is the exact same, same highlighted area, here's that video. So you can see a lot more movement on the wings, looks like the wind is lifting them up better. Her face stayed much clearer in that. Her hands didn't warp at all. The skirt has a slight movement to it. It took that bright pink hue out. Everything looks good on that one. So for this particular image and how much motion I needed on her wings, this was the right setting to put the ambient noise on 10. Thanks for joining me today as we took a look at the new real-time generation in Leonardo AI and the ambient noise feature setting in the runway motion brush. I hope you learned something, and if there's something else you would like me to cover, be sure you leave that topic in the comment. I'm Jessica with The Real AI Agents, and as always, keep looking towards the future.